Yo, what's good with y'all? Oh my God, do y'all hear that? Is that new music? Am I finally retiring the Persona 4 reasoning? Probably not, but I felt like changing things up a little bit. Just bear with me, okay? I hope maybe you like it, maybe not, I don't know. So we played Class of 09 last time, and first of all, that game's fucking wild. What, what, whoever made that game, what are y'all cooking? But while I was downloading it, I realized that there was another game from the same developers also called Class of 09, but this time it was called Class of 09 The Reup. And it took me a while to figure out exactly what this game was about. Like, what did it actually mean? Was it like a remaster? Was it a sequel? And it's actually neither. It is a concurrent running story along with the original Class 09, but it's brand new story threads, which don't happen in the original game. I got kind of curious, so I wanted to play it. So here we are. We're playing Class of 09 The Rio. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Eh, Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. Last game was kind of realistic. I mean, some shit was happening. It's not a sequel, just a rehab. Okay. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch. Yep. My dad shot himself. Damn. My life sucks. My brother's on a watch list. Fourteen old, old enough is crazy. Last what? Year, what? That combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. True. At least I thought it was the worst school, but then I like talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. No, it was still pretty or horrible. Jekka. That yeah, that's what really I'm saying. Standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their now, I don't know about all that. Three in the morning. I never saw that. Only one with a white national photography teacher though so that was kind of crazy the mom won't listen the principal doesn't right, care and right. i still have all of senior year to get through yep my life's just a game a sick hopeless game like i've never really been religious but if god is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair i really hope they can help me through this wait 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 wait, wait, wait. why you call me out hold on hold on hold on nicole why you call me out like that Rope is filth. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it. Unrelated. Do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? I want to know how to tie we're a in noose. the Girl Scouts. Yeah, we learned how to tie knots to go on boats and shit, not hang ourselves. Well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the rope in here? She was just asking me how to tie a noose. And like, did you help her? Should I? Nicole, are you really trying to kill yourself again? Yeah. Again. No. Uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her tie a noose? I didn't. Oh my god, I can't right now. What's her problem? What's what is her problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Dude, you have... Okay, listen. If I went to this school, I'd probably want to hang myself with the gym rope, too. Jekka, you might need to just have an open mind about things, okay? Because there's some shit going on in this school, okay? Gym teacher trying to fuck you. Uh, your, your art teacher is a white nationalist. Your principal just does not give a shit and has been blackmailed by the art teacher for some reason. And every other guy is trying to, the counselor wants to bang you too. You guys are minors. What's going on here? I don't know. This shit's fucked. No idea what I had to witness this morning. The Jeffrey kid was doing cartoon voices for Mr. Burliday and the guy just nodded telling him he had a future in Hollywood. Like he wasn't joking. Yeah, so now he's just encouraged to go up to us talking like Elmo all day. All right, yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, just oh, two that's weeks? Motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. Just two weeks, so, I got you. Will I see you in science today? About that. Why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that energy to keep you alive and you're still not going to go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, I'm trying to get into a college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. Oh God, where are you even going? Mall, skipping school till lunch. I'm going to the mall. Fuck it. This is, this... Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want? Listen, okay, so I figured out that you actually have to pick the, uh, you have to pick the most unhinged shit. Because if you pick the basic shit, you're going to get the worst endings. You have to pick the unhinged shit. So bear with me while I cook for a little bit, cause we have to pick the unhinged shit. Want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I, even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have like no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. What? Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this. I thought you were talking about the computer parts. Oh. 
problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI because you're so normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... Uh, okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD. And a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying Skechers. Who do you think the security guy's gonna have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? <laughs> you know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Steal a $10 shirt, steal a CD in 2008. What does that even mean? What's the difference? They're both ten dollars. I'm still in the shirt. Shirt's fire. This place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Trody? Holy sh holy shit, are you skipping too? I dropped out, my mom forced me to get a job. So fucking not straight, I know. Okay, well, wait, how the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? I mean, bro got yeah, a job, like so... percent of dropouts? Like, I don't know. The TV said you suck, so fuck you. Yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? <laughs> yeah, Loki, he's cooking. Wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, it should. You're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the fuck up, you albacore eating bitch. Hey, whoa, where's your manager? You can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine, sorry. Good. Now what sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? The band, uh, I think everything but large. Damn, that's the one size she wears too. Can you check in the back for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked in. Fuck, fine. Joke's on you bitches, I'm just gonna go back and pretend to look. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a easy f- you think I'm a large? Come on. The easiest lick of all time. What do you mean? Learn? You just hit a. Just take the shit in front of them. You just hit a lick. Uh, we leave before we get caught. We can't leave now. That was such a rush. Come on, let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. That's not how. You, that's not how stealing works. Yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter and fill a cone without spilling it. That's. Well, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over Dairy Queen? Should we try Saku Japan or would the free samples lady chase after us? Literally anywhere but here. Come on. Nicole's too seasoned at this shit. You finna rob a diner? Oh, I hate way too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? It's like pure sodium. Fuck, answer my own question. You wanted the patty melt. Since we're not paying for this either, I figured I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Someone who butters margarine with butter. You think we got Trody fired today? I don't know. I don't care either. Weird. No. Most of our friends just get jobs to buy Adderall, but he has to like support himself with that. Yeah, almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. For any of you who don't actually work, um, you don't get fired for that shit. In fact, if somebody steals, you're literally just told to look at them and not intervene because we care about the safety of our employees. My ass, suck my dick. Since when do you, of all people, worry about accountability? Right. I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. What? How? How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. I don't think this happens, really happens at any so Hooters next? that I've been I to. I want to go back to school now. Dude, you know you're going to end up sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. Check, please. You're not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Strolling in at noon together. You girls had a busy morning. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused? Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excused hardies, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking bitch your problem? Nicole! Excuse me. Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? 
Depression pity party lie about having AIDS. Okay, this is this should be fun. Uh, okay, you're gonna want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We did? <laughs> and the nurse told us we might be AIDS positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. We both went to get tested together at the same place. Yeah? And where was that? Like the... Like the spring. We're cooked. We're, and you expect me to just believe this? Y'all are so cooked. Shouldn't you? Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying Wait, from Wait, there's no way this works. I, I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of swinger parties with homeless people. How is this working? Yeah. And it's How is this working? I, How is this working? I have a unprotected sex fetish, so it all kind of adds up. How is this yeah, working? I have a sex in general fetish. This is not oh, working. World. One of my 30 boyfriends 30. has that too. 30 boyfriends? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, 30. When a Dominican construction worker cat calls me to Dominic immediate relationship. What? Yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Ah, shit. Uh, I, I don't get it. We don't take shots. Ah, shit. You don't take shots? Yeah, they use T cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T square, Nicole. Fuck! What? No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? <laughs> Fuck what I know. You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon, or you're expelled. This sucks. This really sucks. I thought that was gonna be we're fun. All set up here. But thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can all learn a lot from them. I could be at the MSI show right now, but no, I can't because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T-cell is. Like she was supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 <laughs> guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T-cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? Whatever. Why is AIDS such a big deal anyway? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on earth? He has a HIV. Oh, Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's that, Magic Johnson? Is that a porn star? I hate I this game. So. My dad talks about him a lot. <laughs> I hate this game. Doc is like a male porn star? Nah, oh, nah, nah, nah. They disrespected the NBA legends. I'm about to fight. I'm about to go through the screen and fight, bro. Stop disrespecting Here, the GOAT. I need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? About the Saturday thing? Yeah, I was almost late filling it out. Like, it wasn't enough for us to just go. She had to know we were there somehow. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and play it back later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. It's all about a power trip. And the male teachers? Yeah, I was about to say. How yeah. know what I was going to say? I'm noticing a trend. No, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. The other thing's just forever. Okay, well, I'm going to go to class now. Are you going this time? Why? To not get forced to go to an AIDS assembly again? That didn't happen because we skipped. That happened because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom or another excuse right now? Can we just go to class or oh, something? like my mom. Whatever. See you later. Hey, Nicole. You got a minute? Who the fuck? I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But, I, I mean, nah. You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Okay, that sounds kind of fun. Would any girl want to go do that with you? Wait. No, it's not like a date. It's, uh... But yeah, how are you? <laughs> are you a human text message? Um... Uh, Is that the alert that you're typing? Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. Good. So what you doing today? Why is this nigga bluffing? Why? We're not We're not skipping. We are definitely not going to art class. We're going to theater. Crispin, here. Emily? Uh-huh. 
Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. What don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? That's a great question. <laughs> So anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a table read exercise, the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? Yeah, no offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. That's fucked. You want to act. That's actually acting fucked. It's not about looks. It's about talent and creativity. No, it's not. It's about looks. It's definitely about looks. You see that motherfucker Timothy Chalamet? How you think? How you think, bro? Got Dune. He, no, he's a great. He's a good actor. But like, have you seen what bro looks like? When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Wait, that's a good question. Ugly girl star. Nope. Cooked. Stop calling me ugly. No, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... Uh... Like what? Medium. You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Which one? Which one? Wait, no, actually. Oh, yeah, I see it. All right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing all of you up. I'm gonna do the table reading. That sounds fun. So just read aloud, but act it Fuck. out as if you were saying it on stage. Who's playing who? Emily, you'll play the cadet, and Nicole, you'll play the captain. Swell. Uh, what do you think you're doing, young lady? Sorry, I'm just nervous. Like that? Yeah, great. So you guys play out the scene. I'll be back in a bit. Nervous about what? Missing home? I am nervous about dying in a war I didn't start. You better finish it, cadet. Why don't we start loving instead of fighting? This sucks. Yeah, no fight in you, huh? What the fuck is this? I'm back. How you guys doing so far? Decent. Yeah, this script's ass. Who wrote this? <laughs> I wrote it. It's not ass. Nah, it's Megan, ass. this shit is ass. She after her second kid ass. Like, you could write a better script. Probably could. Yes, I totally could. About what? About a girl whose superpower is all her insides are poisonous. So if a guy molests her, his eyes melt out of his head and he dies in a what? slow, grueling pain. What? So and he can't deny it. That's good. What? Why wouldn't you just make it so her superpower avoids getting molested altogether? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Actually, great question. Powers, nothing happens. Wow, great movie idea. Can you just keep reading? It's for a grade, you know. Whatever. My heart beats to love, not fight. Who the fuck is this for? It reads like the anime cartoons Jeffrey likes. Who's Jeffrey again? He's the weird kid with glasses who draws pictures of girls he has crushes on. Oh, he would like shit like this. Guys, I'm right here. We know. Can you get back to reading? I gotta grade your acting. Oh my god, your heart beats to march, cadet. Hut one, two, three, four, hut one, two, three, four. Uh, Nicole? What? I'm reading. It's like a drill sergeant. You read it like one, two, three. I'm gonna four. kill myself. Do I remotely look like I'm even in the same universe of giving a shit as you are? Besides, we're the ones acting. Creative liberty. Exactly. Whatever, keep going. How can you march for someone else's death? I'll march this foot up your ass, ho. That's not what I wrote. Creative liberty. Acting doesn't work like that. You literally said acting's about creativity. Yeah, so is it about looks again? Maybe we should teach the class. F for the day! Damn, this class is easy. Emily, an F is. Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About? Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or. You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as. The fuck is happening? You are a student! This isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? My Dude, pro what the fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. 
I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me. Oh my god, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject. We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus Christ, okay. Think you why is she having a power trip right now? This shit is a no like what, bro? Get out of get out of Nicole's face with this bullshit. You just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione. That's who it was? No, sorry, I no. No. I had no part of that. Go ahead. Call me ugly again. No thanks. Uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. No, we're not. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie, but work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist. Holy shit. Yeah, no, Megan got shut issues. Shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst. Can we? Can we kill me? That that's a wild ass thought. Maybe I should have saved that. That that should have stayed in the drafts. But like, are we gonna have the option to kill Megan? Because she seems like an op. We might need to get her up out of here. I, that's all I'm Hard. saying. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a rip off. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know, why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? It's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring. And then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm going to fucking write you up, get you suspended, like all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Oh, great. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. She's a crash out. Oh, no. So you're going to drop the class? No, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass though. Yes. Aren't you a little old for revenge? No. Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no. I support you. I'm just not getting involved. Yes. You have such a future, right? Yes. Apparently more than you. Yes. Future or no future? Revenge is a dish best served cold, like pizza. No. Not at all. But, yeah. What's wrong with that? Now I know you're at. Yeah. What? Do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yes. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. No. Hot pizza is just grease. Also, just no. Grease and cold pizza. It's just solidified schizo. Correct. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? No. Before, I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Correct. Just hold your pizza up to one, you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. Bro, is this is enough teaching this class. Bro, is this not here. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just a bitch. If this is going where I think it's going, with this setup right here, if it's going where I think it's going, if it, if it, listen, hey, y'all better not judge me if the shit comes up. That's all I'm gonna say pretty enough to be super demanding god the sex with her must be so bad i don't even think he's getting that she was raised catholic like super prudish do you just know everything about this bitch what i've been around longer you just hear this shit all right don't worry about it because i think i have my in and for what megan's life a boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit this is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, 
Oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Jekka? Dude, how much red tube do you Jekka? want? Don't worry about it. Jekka's a gooner. <laughs> Jekka's a gooner. What the fuck? What are you going to do? Let's just say I'm going to order a hot pizza and wait for it to get cold. You know me so well. What does that even and mean? So that's why I wasn't super broken up. What do you when who? My wife killed herself. Wait. Huh? Any questions? Jeffrey. Yeah, what's our science lab going to be about today? I meant questions about my wife killing herself. Dude, who the fuck is asking oh. questions? Sorry, no. About So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you going to be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's going to be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama. Why is Jeffrey here? We know each other if we're going to act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Go away! Oh. Wasn't that kind of harsh? Bro got cooked. Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his back. Okay, never mind. He deserves that. Like that. Huh. Like, that might be a lad. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. That might be a lie, but... You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? What? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? What is Nicole uh, cooking? okay with it, but, uh... Well, why do you do it at school? Great question. I'm gonna add something to it. I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. Those are, okay. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like, uh... Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, honesty's good, I don't mind it. What's this dialogue? What is this dialogue? By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. This dialogue is fucking me up. Do you guys ever roleplay? No. Can't this role. Yeah. He's burned out after the <gasps> day, right? Yeah. I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love role playing. Oh, cool. Well, what are some things you play? Hunter. You have a girlfriend, and you're asking me about my role playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? Bro How is not. Is she? Okay. Don't tell her I told you this. But just based on her personality, Bro, this is not here. Tell, she gives a what is this sense. face? He's not right. here, bro. Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number? In What's case happening? Do you want a vent or anything? What's happening? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it. The relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. This is absolute W gaslighting. Because trust me, I know Gas. all about manipulative. W gaslighting. W gaslighting. Nicole okay, is a prime so gaslighter. This is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now, who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. <laughs> I'll do it. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. W gaslight. Again? You're about to go to prison for 10 years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Okay, he killed me with that line. That shit was mid. Oh my God, he started off so ass, bro. How do you, Nicole? Please Are say you this. Sure, you'll beat the case. I know you will. Okay, that's even worse. Said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Okay, we're starting well, to pick it up. You're just gonna take that. You're free now, aren't you? 
What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. They find everybody in Mexico. That's like the first place that anybody runs. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you really just want to serve the <laughs> What about me? What am I going to do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? <laughs> I don't know. All your f I'm sorry, that killed me. Bro, that, bro, that got me. He said, uh, I don't have any scissors. She was like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Friends really want to have sex with me. What? Look, I can't control you from the inside. Just keep me in the dark about it. Hunter is giving up that easy. I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself back to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. What's being cooked? Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. What's being but, cooked? But what am I supposed to do? What? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh. I'm not listening and to that. And scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you. A little weird she took that as a compliment. Very weird. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. W. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well, okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. At first, I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks. I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. Okay, I was... We, we were cooking until she fucked you know it up. World Star Hip Hop? No, what's that? It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ugh. Ew, gross. That sounds, yeah, you that sounds nasty. It? Yeah, but later, I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone, like, all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got 10, 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it, too, so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. Uh. What? Why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? <laughs> Wait, what? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds, he sent a picture of it. Nin you want to see? 90? Oh, Hunter, you, oh, Hunter, you are cooked. You are cooked, brother. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Maybe that's why he won't include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. So, um... If you can get him to... If you can get him to send you 11 pictures of bro's cock and you can get him to send you a picture of him eating in his mom's jewelry box you telling me you can't get him to send you a full body nude with his face in it so you can prove it do we divide the mass did they even did nicole even wonder about how this is gonna hurt hunter and not just megan uh i guess that doesn't matter revenge never actually cares about all parties involved by the volume couldn't tell ya or maybe we multiply the density by the mass dude i'm failing this class anyway who gives a shit is something bothering you right now? Not really, it's just caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. 
Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just us. Yeah, you what fucked up. Us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? You fucked up. No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you and compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. I feel bad for her. I feel... Sure, I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though. Aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? What? Yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. What? Like, like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. H how can you have a collection of Uno? Like all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. Those are things? Can you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah. And while I was doing just let me know by this is wait, 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 what just happened? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's been the rule since See? Megan, but what, and if, t well, look, Megan, what's, yeah, and you just, like, all the different versions, NFL Uno, Batman, I think I scroll wheeled on accident, Uno. my fault, and you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them, yeah, and while I was doing it, I was, I hate this conversation, this shit is, oh god, listen to me, What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. What? But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. What? If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. What? Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. What? Seriously? Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang Hunter, out. Hunter, 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 lock in, bro. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You're not locking I in. Never looked at it like You're not locking that's in. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? It's all over. Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. It's all over. Yeah, what is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Church. Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. Oh my God. The Lord. Like Jesus? Yeah. Oh my God, it's not Megan, it's Hunter. That's the one who's, oh my God, yeah, wait. The one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? Cinema. Hey, you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father, but not daddy? What? I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you wanna go? Ah, oh, shit. Like, I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. Just let me know by Friday. This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Why are you cool. here? Hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. Oh, they have? Yes, 
They're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior... She's only a good student when she's trying to get fucking revenge. No. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way, great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? I'm, really I'm never it. playing this game again. about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome. Ah. To off in here. Ah. 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 Give me a tour. Ah. You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Ah. Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Ah. Now, go ahead and give me that tour. I'm going to kill. Wait, there's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments. I'm going to go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye. I got your text. So what I is bro know. cooking? What happened? I was in French too and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. Like Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know. So fire this. The teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. Well, he was there to his face. Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No. He invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's one of those those. Is it really that surprising though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Why are y'all okay, yelling no, in the corner? I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor will ever find Jesus? No. Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you gonna tell him no? You just distract him. Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do want to do? You know what I want to do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Oh no. Let's see, for Romeo we have- Hunter. Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month. So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough. So, playing the part of Romeo Hunter. is Hunter. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thanks. A little more excitement. Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay. Thanks, guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Nicole, of course. Nicole. Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're going to need it. Oh, you too. Okay, so. F no, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. I legit almost turned this game off. Who are you texting? A guy. Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... 
Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. Haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pic, but let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would be really nice. To There's no way this works. I got him. Holy now fuck, what? it worked. You know what? Holy shit, it worked. I hate this shit. I hate this game. I'm doing this one and we're out of here. I'm not doing it anymore. Tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like, <laughs> I'm a girl. What am I going to do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Nah. Uh, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. What? Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you going to post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm going to hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? The play. Oh, you'll know. I think everyone. It's the play. You just gonna ruin their relationship right in the that's fucked. Less than five guys, phones off, let's get it together. Megan's number, check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out, check. Hey Nicole, good luck tonight. Good luck to you too. Okay, I don't even have a I don't I don't even have a I just gotta send this shit. We got two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like ten times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough. I want y'all to know that whole ending, that whole series, all of that just happened because because Megan had a tiny little power trip about being the student teacher. I don't even know what to say, bro. I, I actually don't want to play this no more. Yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm done. Uh, we're never playing Class of 09 again. I'm sorry. I can't believe I put y'all through that. We'll have a better game after this. I promise. I promise to God we'll have a better game. Jesus Christ. Whoever made this game needs to go to jail.